Hey everyone, so in the following video what we'll do is just go over some of the blog post settings. Uh, now there are several areas where you can customize your blog page, but um, we'll just start off with the very basics and we'll head on over to the back end of our website. We'll go to pages and here you have several blog layouts that have been um, already pre-made uh, within the website. Now if we just hover over this blog area you'll see all of these different types of blog posts. Um, views that we have. Now essentially if, you, if you're creating a new blog page, let's just create a new page and we will name it new blog page. Alright, when selecting a blog page um, within the page template you have the ability to select blog posts. As soon as you select blog posts you then have a number of options coming up for you to choose from. So let's just start from the beginning then we'll go down the list. So essentially over here you can add a slideshow to your blog page if that would be required and you can select several slideshows. Currently we have only one slideshow, it's the home slideshow. Um, to add new slideshows you'll just go over to slideshow and then click on add new but we'll create a separate video for that as well. So you can select a slideshow and let's just do this one here. Uh, then select below the slideshow we can either have a menu or uh, we can have a menu below or above. So we'll just leave it below at the moment. Uh, next off we have uh, some of the page settings. For example, uh, like show the page title or do not show the page title. We'll disable that, enable or disable social sharing. Uh, because this is our primary blog page, I do not want to show the, um, the sh social share button. And then you have the ability to enable full width page uh, sidebar footer on this page. So yes or no, you can add that. Uh, currently it's set to no and then also discussions and once again because it's the main blog page we will disable these discussions and I'll just close this here. Alright next off now we've created our we selected our blog post template page mm -hmm. now we need to select our page layout type so if we just click over here uh, we can choose either to have a right sidebar um, or left sidebar or we can just have a full width page. I'll leave it as default as full width. Next off scrolling further down we have a view type. As you see here we have either list view, we have list view with content on the right, we have grid view and then we have grid view with two columns. And Then we we'll also have the option with creating a thumbnail view. Once you've selected your view type, I'll just go ahead with, with the grid view, you then select the number of columns. It could be the, either be one, two, three, or four columns, so I'll select three. And then you can handpick uh, some of the categories you want to display within your blog page. So it can either be all categories or it can be uh, only handpicked categories, for example, a gallery or images. So let's just say we select a category that is gallery and we'll go ahead and publish this page now that we've made all of these customizations. So let's click on this button here where it says view page and we'll take a look at the blog page we've come up with. So here we have this image slider. Uh, as you see we have the navigation above our slider. If we take a look at this page here um, there are several options for example like on the home page our navigation is actually under the image slider. So um, that's just to show you that difference. Then next off we have um, this grid view with uh, three images in a row and they're all related to a gallery type layout. As you can see here, um, the blog post we created is just gallery images blog post. So these are just some of the general areas of how you can customize your blog page and um, just feel free to play around with these settings and see which of these works best for you. Alright, now that we went over the basic customizations of the blog page, let's go through some of the default settings uh, we have for our blog. So as you may know, if you head on over to the flow theme area, uh, this is our primary area where we make all of the settings for the entire website. So if you just head on over to flow theme and then you click on layouts, we'll be taken to this area here where you can adjust uh, the page width for not only the blog page but the entire um, the entire website. So you can select the sidebar width as you see here. Uh, you can select authors with single posts etc. Now what we're interested in is the width of our blog page. So you can select the default setting to have left or right sidebar. 
so that can be adjusted here next off the archives page categories and all of that can be adjusted over here once again this uh, layout area is not only for the blog but for um, every other page of the website as well uh, next off if we go on over to flow theme area and then we click on image sizes we'll be able to adjust a slideshow image width but then we also have galleries we have uh, blog listings um, our list view width is at is currently set at 900 pixels and then we have the default settings listed here as well so you can make any of those adjustments uh, for example a grid view you can have the columns at uh, 300 um, pixels wide and so forth so all of these small things can be adjusted over here uh, next off we have another area where it's called post settings and here you can enable or disable automatically or by default uh, similar blog posts uh, next off you can set the criteria for your similar blog posts and that could be the same tags or sim or the same category next off you set the distance between your blog posts this one, I'm sorry distance between the images uh, then you have the distance between blog posts everything here is measured in pixels so all of these areas can be adjusted uh, by default within the flow theme area all right and finally we have another uh, area where it's um, related to our content settings and here we have our blog listing layout and then we have um, just several options here for you to choose from web archives um, then we have just some of these thumbnail listings as well that you can choose from so all of these customizations can be done here once again in many of these pages or many of these sections you will find not only the blog page but many other pages of the website so this is the default area where you can make some of the settings now this is uh, I guess considered to be for more advanced users um, who want to customize their blog page even more now the tricky thing is that when you are creating a blog page um, like I said we can we can set a default page from uh, a default page using this page template here where it says blog posts but then we also have the ability if we just head on over to settings and we click on reading here we have the ability to set by default our main blog page now what this means is that once you select uh, for example let's just find our uh, new blog page that we've created All right, here we'll have new blog page and we'll click on save changes now what this will mean is that all of these changes will take place in the new blog page now unless you've assigned within the readings area a specific page to be the blog page none of these changes will take effect if a specific page hasn't been assigned so um, everything's quite easy and simple if you want to have more customizations to your blog page be sure to go to pages um, select your page as blog and let me just uh, get this page here and for example I'll just leave it at default template right so you we create a page it's called new blog page we leave the template as default next off we'll head on over to readings select our page as new blog page we'll click on save all changes and now it will activate all of these settings that we just went through for our new blog page so let me just refresh this page and you'll see that everything has uh, changed its layout all right so here we have all of these settings that are taken into place so once again this is something just for you to consider if you want to play around within the theme options area customizing the blog page you can do so but be sure to activate the readings area. If you don't want to play with those settings, uh, simply uh, select a page template for your blog posts, click on update, and you can leave this area here as blank, and you'll have uh, the ability to customize the pages this way. So uh, this is pretty much the entire overview of the blog post uh, settings that you have within the template. And um, yeah, I hope this video helps. Thanks.